he was into the Jazz Crusaders, he would play that. <clears throat> That's when they were called the Jazz Crusaders. As I got older, they just called it the Crusaders. What you do, burn, burn some? What are you, what are you cooking? Eggs. <laughs> and see, my my brother and my sister is not. They're not my. They're not my father's kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm my father's only child. Yeah, but my mom said that dad was really good to, um, you know, he was just really, really good to um, Butch. I used to call him Butch. So Robert made him Butch. <laughs> My mom was mad at me for a little while. Um, I was working. I used to work at this place called Sterling Plastics out on Route 22, not too far from the radio station, because when I used to leave the radio station, I used to go there, make extra money. And um, he was going in for some type of operation. And it seemed like it was going to be, you know. I easy? Yeah, easy. <laughs> When I left the house that morning, because my mom asked me about, am I coming to the hospital? I said, well, mom, I don't need you going to the hospital. I said, um, I'll just see Robert when I get home, because it was supposed to have been a, a, it was supposed to have been a procedure. Well, you know, go in and get out. I said, I, when I get home, I said, I, I got to I gotta go to work, though, you know. And I told Robert then, I said, well, look, I'll see you when I get home this evening, like that. So mom went to the hospital with him and stayed there all day. And then um, I came home. He wasn't home. Mom wasn't home. I'm like, well, who the hell is that? I said, probably, st probably st still at the hospital. Or, I don't know. Anyway, come to find out, he he had passed. Your brother? Yeah. Um, they whatever he had, they said that the muscle was too weak to pump the blood to the heart, so he had he had passed. And my mom was gone. Oh man. No, my mom was. Live it. She was. I'll never forget that. And she didn't talk to me. Well, at first she was. She was pissed off with me because I didn't come to the hospital. So now she's real pissed off with me because Robert didn't. Make, it was kind of weird too because I was like, damn. I was expecting him to be home when I got there, and he wasn't there, and he wasn't gonna be there anymore. And uh, my mom didn't talk to me for a couple of weeks. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. And my. Uh, my my girlfriend at the time, not quite my wife yet, she always kept saying, she said, baby, it's going to be okay. She said, mom will come around. She'll come around. And then her her mom. Down. It wasn't entirely you that she was upset about. I know. I know. And that's what she said. She said, she, she, she said she'll be okay. She, she said, just muster through it. She said, she'll, you know, eventually she'll come through. And she did. You know, then my mom and I talked about it. It's funny how you talk about things years later because we didn't talk about it then. But she said, she said, you know, she's this is like three years later. I got something I want to talk to you about. I've been having it on my brain for a long time, and ever since you know, since when your brother passed and everything, I just want to let you know that I wasn't really upset or mad with you. I was just mad at the situation, you know, because she got to him. If he had been taking his pills like the doctor said, and like my mom was always making sure he was taking his shit every single day until he moved out, until he disappeared. And then five years go by, and all of a sudden you stop taking the shit that you should be taking, get married and everything, and then have kids. We don't know anything about you. Matter of fact, we don't even know where you're at because I've, never, my, I've been riding around 
all the time keeping my eyes open thinking I might find him somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I'd be damned if he wasn't, when I say he wasn't... He was right down the road. No, he was... You know what they say sometimes, the best way to hide from someone is to be right there in front of them. And that's exactly where the hell he was. I mean, he was only like five or six blocks. And I think you know what blocks look like, like in Connecticut. They're probably the same as they are in Jersey. And uh, I, was, I couldn't, man, I couldn't believe it was him when I saw him. Wow. And he wasn't getting along with his wife at the time. He wasn't doing well as far as being able to take care of himself. He was drinking then, because you could, I, you could see it, you could smell it. No. I mean, when I say he drank, I never seen anybody drink like I said he wake up in the morning, his his coffee is his is his vodka. His dinner is his vodka. He make a few little dollars or you give him some money and before and now he got downstairs in the basement just drinking his ass off. I couldn't get him to stop. I even tried taking him places sometimes me and Darlin would take him somewhere or whatever. He had to drink. He just had to drink. Shit, ain't nothing but a damn drug. And I mean, he st he was he functioned. He you know he 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 did stuff. He functioned, but you can smell it on. You really can. I don't know who his father was. I know my I knew my sister's father. I I've seen him, and um, he looked like a Billy D type William type guy. I mean, he had his hair slicked back and everything. He was one of those shakers and movers, if you want to call it that. So I guess my mom was, she got married to, she married him and, and had Carol and got divorced and then married Robert's father and then, and then married dad. dad. An apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> and his apples <laughs> fell right there at the bottom right there sitting there looking up many bruises yeah well, I always, my mom always told me she said I said how come you never got married anymore she said well she said I knew I was never going to find another man like your father so I just she said so it wouldn't have been fair to the next man because, you know, you expect certain things when you're treated a certain way, you know. Are you talking about when your father passed away? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had finally got the nerve to ask, you know. I was older. If, if mom would have met somebody right after my dad died, I think I probably would have been pissed at her. And I probably would have hated the guy for no reason other than the fact that he's with my mom. You know what I'm saying? But a couple of years that went by, two or three years, I, of course, I, I've gotten older now, and Daryl and I are getting married, uh, you know, and I finally, you know, I felt like I could ask my mom those type of questions without, you know, without any remorse. And I asked her, I said, Mom, how come you, you, know, you never remarried after Dad passed? And she just came out and said, she said, I know I would never find another man like your father. She said, I, you know, I, you know, he, he worsted the ground I walked on, he took care of us, and, you know, I didn't want for anything. He was always there. I was like, wow. She said, yeah, I mean, she said, you're just like him. She said, I, you're a spitting image of him. And I, I felt like I, I don't, I felt like I started looking like my father when I started getting older, you know, but I said, um, I didn't, you know. You disagreed at that time? At that time. But she even said, she said everything about you. She says, your cars, the way you clean your cars, your your model cars. Because Dad used to have all those, like those little cars I got. He used to have those. Um, and Corgi, I'll never forget those cars, those Corgis. I got one or two of them in, in, my, in my box over there at the house. But she said, you everything. She says, you just like them. She said, um, the way you clean, keep your house and clean your house and clean your car. And she said, you, she said, you just like your dad. 
Mini me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mini me. Oh man. Number two. Yeah, my mom said she didn't know how she was gonna tell me that dad had passed. He went into the hospital and um, never came out. Next time I saw him, he was in a in a wooden box. I was like, Jesus, boy, I went nuts.